Hey everybody, a uh, quick video for you this morning, one of three videos that should be up by the end of the day, which is pretty cool. As you can see, I've got my uh, back of six mill figures out on the table, and a few weeks ago I showed you these Romans and Celts that I had ordered um, a while ago that I didn't know what I was going to do with them. Um, they were like a test order, I was still thinking of doing the CNC Ancients in 3D project, which is still a possibility for the future, but right now I've decided that instead of that, or uh, Field of Glory or any of the other um, games out there that I've uh, did a little bit of research for, I decided to go with DBA. Now, the main reasons I went for DBA are the low number of elements that you need on the tabletop. You only need 12 um, stands, really, of, of models, which is really cool. Um, it's a small game on a 2x2 two two board if you're playing on the small scale, and it apparently takes like an hour or less. Now, I've never played the game. I don't have the rules yet. But, um, of course, that'll change, hopefully, in the near future. Um, but uh, the other reason that I was going to choose DBA was that uh, Corvus Belly and Zeiston have really cool small starters, uh, or I guess full armies, uh, for the game. Um, I almost picked up a couple. You know, for a less than $100, you can get two full armies, which is really cool. Um, and they look really good in 15 mil. However, um, as, as, as good as those models look, um, I'm not a fan of having like two guys on a base. It just, it, it looks too sparse for me as, as you know, I don't care how good the sculpting is. It's just not enough. So six mil was an option. And of course, um, Tristan on, on YouTube, Athelith, always there to get me to, to start new projects or work on new projects. Um, as well as British Legion and Cheese Ninja ta Tabletop and Ringo and a few others with some um, some six mil projects on the go. Um, plus me having these guys already. Um, all these things combined said, hey, you know what? Do DBA and do it in six mil. It's going to look great. And as luck would have it, a local uh, historical gaming group is making a Bacchus order right now. Um, and which is like, just perfect timing. So this is about one third of those two armies, the Marian uh, Romans and the Gauls, um, or the Celts, uh, whichever way you're gonna look at it. Um, and so I've put in the order for the other two thirds of, of those two armies. So hopefully those will come in the next little while and I can really get this project going. Now um, I'm gonna be doing my own bases. Um, I'm gonna be um, testing different ways of painting them either um, on those bases or off the bases and then attach them. I'm gonna try different things. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I do know that um, by the end of this project, which hopefully will be a, a finished project earlier rather than later, um, I will have two playable armies uh, with options, which is really cool, for DBA. Now, again, is it a good rule set? I don't know, I haven't played it. Um, but I've heard good things about it. It's uh, got a small footprint, and that's pretty much all I need. So um, that's what I'm doing with 6 mil. Um, I will do as Tristan did and uh, link up some other 6 mil um, projects and videos on YouTube, um, the kind of ones that inspired me to, uh, to keep going with 6 mil and to, uh, to really try it out. And um, I'll put some other links up and... Uh, Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for my DBA introduction. Um, you should see some more videos about this uh, in the next little while. Hopefully within the week, I'll have uh, some test uh, stands painted and we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching and um, hopefully you've got your own uh, projects on the go and um, you find some inspiring stuff online and I bet Tristan will get you into another project. I bet he will. It's gonna happen. He does it with everybody. Well, at least it does with me. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep at it. See ya.